In this video, we're going to take you through user administration on a WordPress multi-site network. Here you can see I'm in the WordPress dashboard and I've got a network set up and running at the moment and there are two sites. Uh, we are using, as you'll see here, a subdirectory structure, though in terms of user administration, the approach is still the same. So one of the things that you need to understand and appreciate when it comes to running a multi-site network is that Themes, plugins, and users exist across the entire network, so at no time are they unique to any one place. They will exist in some capacity everywhere. However, though you may add a user here or there through the network, you never actually have those users just automatically added to the entirety of the network unless you actually have a plugin to do that for you. So what we'll do now is go through to the user screen and we'll just run through that first. So you can see that I'm currently the only user on the multi-site network and I'm also a super admin. And if you haven't seen that, a super admin is just the user account level that is allowed to make changes to the actual entire network. Uh, they don't need to be added to any particular site. They can go in uh, and make any changes uh, that they should see fit. So, you know, give out this user level sparingly, if at all. And you can see by hovering over uh, the sites that this current user belongs to, and that will show any of the sites that they do belong to. So what we do first is just show you how to add a new user. You can do this by clicking on add new and then just put in the username and the email address as you would. And then click add user. So the username and password are actually emailed to, out to this user. So we have no idea what they will be, which is unlike what normally happens when you add a user to WordPress, uh, because in that instance, you may notice that you actually have to create the password for the user that uh, you're registering. So we've just added the new user to the network. So we'll jump back into the user screen. And here we can see we've got the user example. They're not actually on any of the sites at the moment. And what I'll show you now how to do is add them to various sites. So what we can do is go into the sites area and click on all sites and then we'll go into site one and we'll edit that. Uh, what we need to do now is go into the users tab and you can see that as per we expect, we've only got uh, my account on there at the moment. So what we can do is add an existing user here. So the user we added before was example and what we want to do now is give them a user level. So you can choose any of these levels that you'd like, of course. I'm just going to leave them on subscriber for the moment and then I'll click add user. And there you can see, so this person's been added. So what I can do now is click edit and this will effectively edit their profile for this particular site. You can make a user a super admin here and that is something that'll be done instead of their user level just being a contributor or whatever it is that you may have set them to. So now what I wanna do is go back into the network administration area and go to users and hopefully now yes there we go so we can see that uh, the username example is now a member on that site there similarly what you can do is go to any of the sites in your network so i'm going to go to just one of the other sites we've got which is the one that lives on the the domain itself the primary site and i'm going to add a new user in there and then we'll show you what you can do so yeah as as we sort of sh have shown before we can add a new user by putting in the username, email, uh, and so on. But you can also add an existing user here. So we could put in the username example there. Yep, and that's uh, coming up to confirm it's there. And you can also choose to add users without sending them a confirmation email first, because if you do not check that box, they'll actually be required to check a confirmation link uh, in their email when it gets sent out. And then here, what you can also do, so we'll add uh, is, yeah, we'll add a new user example one. We'll skip the confirmation email part of that again. And the user's been added. So what I want to do now is go back into the network admin area, just to reinforce that you can add a user from any of your websites and then apply their account to any of the websites in the network. So we'll jump into the users area and we'll see that we've also got example one now and example one only exists on this website. And if you wanted to add them to say site one, then you'd go 
as we've shown before, into the sites area, find your site, and then add them through there as an existing user. Alternatively, we can go into the dashboard for site one and add them as an existing user through there as well, uh, just as we have uh, just a little bit earlier in this video. So that should hopefully serve as a general sort of overview of user administration on a multi-site network. It's really important that you understand that you can just have one account and that can be added to any of the sites in your network very, very easily. So there's really no hassle in getting that done. So you can manage a great deal of users over a very large number of sites with ease. If you have any questions about anything we've done today or user permissions across multi-site networks, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, hit subscribe because we've got uh, lots to cover in terms of multi-site in the future.